Ferrite cylinders on the cable are needed to protect against external interference. If ferrite is removed from the cable, the device will not work properly. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. Ferrite filters serve to suppress electromagnetic radiation from the cable itself and protect the external environment from its interference. Let's stage an interesting experiment. I'll take an old Super VGA cable, fortunately there's an abundance of this stuff now and everyone throws it away, and extract the ferrite cylinder from it. Then we will need a radio transmitter. You can use any radio remote control operating in the range from 200 MHz and above, as well as a simple detector using two germanium diodes with an LED and a wire soldered to them. When the wire is connected to the antenna and a radio signal is transmitted, the LED flickers. It's flashing because this remote is designed to control a smart home system and the radio signal is modulated with a digital code. But in our case it doesn't matter. Let's see what happens if we wrap the wires around a ferrite cylinder. As you can see, now the LED is not lit, although the remote control continues to work, as shown by its own indicator. So we can conclude that the task of ferrite filters is to suppress high-frequency radiation arising in the cable itself and to protect surrounding devices and instruments from it.